More Americans are expected to leave Sudan soon as the conflict there continues. The first group of American civilians was taken to a port city on Saturday and another caravan arrived yesterday. The rescue missions have involved 500 mile bus rides escorted by armed military drones. The first group of Americans met with U.S. Navy officials last night with hopes they can escape to neighboring countries like Saudi Arabia. This comes after fighting broke out last month between Sudan's military and a rival military group. So far, some estimates say more than 500 people have died. It took two weeks for the U.S. military to get civilians out. I never thought that we would make it out of Sudan. Like I, that thought never crossed my mind. Everyone was so scared. Like everyone did not know why did this happen. And now I'm here watching my family because I'm the only boy, only man watching my family. The two sides of the conflict have agreed to extend a ceasefire from over this weekend an extra three days, but it's not clear if that will hold up. There's still violence erupting in Sudan's capital city of Khartoum. In the meantime, the Red Cross delivered eight tons of emergency medical aid to Sudan yesterday.